Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to extend my playlist of Databricks tutorial. I have already uploaded two videos where I have, I have told you how you can Hello everyone, create. Back to my YouTube. Yeah, this is my YouTube channel and this is my two video I have already uploaded. You can create the database memory edition and you can create the cluster. So once you have both things, cluster is up and running fine. Then you can go ahead and create your notebook and run there. So I have already told you how you can create the notebook and you can write the code there. So I'll extend this and this in this video, I will tell you the basic of notebook. So this this notebook is similar to Jupyter notebook that if you have worked on Anaconda Python. So this is the similar to Jupyter notebook, but many 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 features are there. Apart from that, means you can run the multiple language. You can you have the option to choose Python, SQL, SQL and R. And if you see here, you are, you also have the option to choose Markdown. So sometimes what happened is this notebook uh, you you have to share to some people because if you see here there is share option because this is the not WSAC because I am just using the community community edition and here. You don't have the access to share or publish things, but but once you are working on the real real project in the company, then and you want to share the notebook to some people and uh, and you have to write some comment and some display the image or or maybe you, you can write the readme file in the notebook. So you, so you have to use the markup language. So sorry, markdown. So if you see here, this is the Markdown, or here it will some support the Markdown editor is there. What about the Markdown editor? Uh, you can write here. So same things you can write there as well. You can write MD, percentage MD. You can Let's suppose that I want to, uh, and there is one more website called readme.so, and you can take the help of that. This this readme.so is uh, very useful to create that uh, readme file when you are working on uh, any project real time project so you once you, you are deploying your project so you have to give the readme file and you have to write the steps to deploy the project what your project is doing project title acknowledgement many things you have to write so let's suppose that you want to write the readme kinds of things here so so this will readme.so will work uh, it will be support Support very good, and even though you can use ChatGPT as well to create that uh, readme uh, that Markdown language. Let me show you how you can do. Let's suppose that I want to write some bold content here, like uh, in bold and some description. So you can, and also I want some link here, acknowledgement. So you can just go there and take this copy, okay, and uh, you can just paste it here and see will look like this See. nice it, you can give your link here also read me file or because i have just given the i copy copy paste thing double click here it will back to normal okay and you can give your your link okay it will after clicking that will go to their link so and so what i'm saying is you can write your own um, markdown here so uh, there are many markdown editor suppose that i want to write some list here if you want to write list so just like write something here i'm just, going to just take it from here one two three okay so copy this and paste it you don't have to think uh, more okay It will give you the one, two, three, four like this. Okay. I want I want dot like bullet. Bullet I already have done. So if you want table, so table also you can give. See, there is a see there is this link for link you can you have to handle bar. Okay. And see this is a table. So you just copy this one and paste in this md paste here see this become table so hope you like the things of the notebook and one more important feature of the notebook is 
you can run some other notebook that is there in different places different place and you want to run it here let suppose that you have declared some configuration in the other notebook and from there you need to read the configuration data like key and value pair or any variable or anything you can define there but basically there is some notebook there in your uh, some other location you want to call that notebook here so what you can do is let me just uh, let me just open one note, one workplace here okay this is the workplace you can see in the workplace okay i will just open one duplicate tab this duplicate tab calculate one notebook and i'll tell you how you can call this notebook inside this notebook okay so this is the same notebook i duplicate so this is practice I came here and I will create here one more folder. I'll keep folder name as include. Okay, you can give anything. I just give an include. And here I will create one notebook. Create notebook inside include. Okay, and give I will give the name of uh, this notebook as setup okay change this name setup and in the setup this is my notebook and here i am just declaring one variable and that variable i will call it there so let's suppose that my name is sumit kumar so i am declaring one variable called uh, full name and full name variable is name value is sumit kumar okay Okay, so this is defined here in this setup notebook. Now I want I have two notebook. One is uh, practice code, okay, and one is setup. So you have to go to the setup location, and where the setup location? You come here. See, it is there in practice. In the practice, we are having having practice code. This is the notebook from where I am going to call setup notebook. So from practice notebook, I need to go one step back. Then one step back means cd dot dot. cd dot dot is command to go one step back. Why I am saying is because we need to use dot dot. So dot dot means from the current path, you move to the previous path. So means I reach to practice Spark folder. And in this practice spark folder, we are having include folder. So then I have to go to include folder, and then inside include folder we have to give setup. Okay. So what if you want to call? So the, we have to write write percentage run and dot dot then slash and what is that include include and then Less setup okay setup okay i'm writing in the setup only so you don't have to write in setup okay that's my mistake i need to go to practice right and from here practice i already i have already told you where to go from the practice i have to go one step back and then go to the include and run the setup so right here include setup as in cap okay run it so this is running my other notebook okay so why what is the error saying that relative path so might be i'm just uh, giving some uh, different location so you can directly go there and see this is setup right set up as in caps and setup right correct only and then include folder you have to check this is in i in caps or small so see i have written in capital okay this is good to if you are getting error it is good okay so put i in capital now you run it so now you, you did get the error so what why i have given a dot dot because my practice code folder is here okay here in this uh, practice uh, spark folder and uh, my 
notebook that I need to call that is that is there in include folder. So I need to go one step back and then inside this folder. Okay. Hope you understand. So now I don't have to if I'll do here print print full name. It will not give me error. This is printing full name is Sumit Kumar. But I have not declared full name in this here anywhere. Okay, but, but how it is giving because it is calling this notebook. So let me just define full name as last name. Or let me change here. Sumit only. My full name is Sumit only. So when you change this one, then you have to run it again. Run again and run this one. Okay. Okay. Hope you understand how you can call one notebook inside other notebook. So that's all for this video. Uh, keep watching my video. I will keep bringing the new topic and I will go through the catalog. What is Unity catalog? What is the Delta Lake? Everything and and whatever things I am learning on the project, everything I will going to show you. So don't worry. Keep watching. Thank you very much.